All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Tonight, uh, I'm gonna do try something a little different here. This is the best way I know how to uh, compare tools more equally or fairly or whatever you want to call it. I don't think there's any way to completely test tools equally. You know, I don't, I don't know of any method to do that other than test what kind of current they're drawn from these batteries. So that's the approach I'm gonna take to see, you know, the closest we can get, the closest comparison and fairness and equalness, whatever you wanna call it, like I said. And I'm gonna do, I plan on doing a video about uh, batteries, uh, power tool battery technology here soon in the near future. To be honest, that's why I really haven't been able to upload much lately because I've been studying up on all this stuff. I was almost clueless a few weeks ago, almost a month ago, when I made that last impact driver uh, versus video. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I didn't even really know the difference between watts and watt hours. You know, I had to teach myself. And uh, it's a big rabbit hole to go down a lot of different variables come into play when you're testing tools and different batteries on them but enough of that i don't want to make this a super long video so this is what we got this is a watt meter that i got off amazon and uh shout out to project farm because this is either the same one or one similar that he used in his video uh comparing batteries a while back i believe he used them on the the dewalt blower so this is, I think this is the exact one. I might be wrong, but it's it's close. It re, it's up to 200 amps. So it's fairly inexpensive. I bought it for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And uh, it's the best way I know how to get it as equal as we can or as fair as we can when we're testing these uh, impact drivers. So this is what I got going on. There's the Flex 5.0. I'm not gonna make one cut or edit in this video just so I don't get accused of nothing that's a fully charged 5 amp hour battery I've got the battery hooked into the source side and then I got the tool I got the quick eject hooked into the load side so as you see it's reading it's pretty spot on 24.27 you know this is a 24 volt max tool that's nominal voltage so that's going to drop way down when it's under load as you'll see here in a second but the test bolt 8 inch 3 8 lag so let's just get to it let's see what happens i'm getting a little glare on the screen here let me see if i can fix that that's pretty good all right here we go drove all the way down. Yeah, it's still reading it. Sorry, excuse the smoke here. Battery got drained a little bit, so it's reading 23.8. So, yeah, I'll have to go back through the footage and see the peak on the, what it peaked at on the amps and the watts, watt hours, what have you, amp hours. 0.142 amp hours 2.6 watt hours okay so yeah to check the amps and the watts it was uh putting out i'll have to go back through the footage and check but we're gonna run the milwaukee next with the 6.0 and then we're just gonna compare the results 20.25 20.26 volts all right at the six amp hour fully charged. All the terminals are connected from the battery. 
the two in the middle plus the positive and the negative. Everything's wired up. Same lag. All right, let's see what happens, guys. Make sure we can read this. Should be pretty good. Yep, reverse. Sorry. Here we go. Six amp hours, nineteen point seven eight volts, one point eight watt hours. All right, so there it is. You're not gonna believe this, guys. I just realized I shot the whole thing in portrait mode. Uh, I don't care. I'm too tired. It's late at night. I'm gonna just roll with it. I don't. That's the only real way to tell is to take a look at the numbers. You know see what kind of current's being put out of the batteries, what kind of power, you know, watts and amps the motors are drawing, because that's all a battery is. It's storage box, basically. I would consider myself a novice, a, an apprentice, a beginner, when it comes to understanding how cell, battery cells work. And C ratings, discharge curves, uh, to start at what type of cells they are in these packs in order to try to get uh, some type of fair comparison, what manufacturer made that battery cell, its capabilities. You know, Flex, it has uh, the Samsung 18650 cells, the 25R5s, uh, are considered high discharge, high drain cells, which means they can be charged quickly and they can be drained quickly without damaging them. And Flex, had a amperage range of 36.70 to 38.71 amps being drawn from that battery during driving that uh, eight inch lag. Uh, the voltage got down to 20.37 volts. That's the lowest the voltage dropped. And as far as watts being drawn, being output was 638 to 800 watts. The Milwaukee was 35.92 to 39.10 amps. So, you know, it's pretty close. Pretty, It's pretty comparable. Now, here's the thing as far as the, the voltage, of course, they're different voltage uh, batteries. Voltage on the Milwaukee uh, dropped down to 17.71 volts when the flex dropped down to 20.37 volts. I think that's why you said, uh, this is why I made this video and this is why I'm doing this kind of comparison. When someone's saying it's not fair to use a Milwaukee high output against a flex 2.5 or a 5.0 amp hour, that's BS. You just seen it right there. If anything, the flex's numbers are, you know, higher. It's a, it's a bigger voltage tool, you know, a battery pack and tool, the motor. And it's just, uh, that's why it's so hard to compare them. That's why it's so hard to get an equal and fair comparison out of 24 volt to 18 volt. But yeah, the watt output on the Milwaukee was 573 to 712. That was the peak watts it output, 712 watts. The flex was 800 it peaked at watt output 800 watts it was its peak so that's a huge difference there almost 100 watts difference goes to show you uh, milwaukee can win sometimes and flex can win sometimes but when someone says uh the milwaukee high output batteries with the 21700 cells in them those are high discharge high drain cells so are the flex so are the uh, battery cells in the flex. This is just for fun. This, I never come 
come on here claiming to be a scientist. This is a scientific method, the way to test these. And I'm just trying to have some fun, guys. I love tools. I love comparing uh, impacts to one another think i would like to hope you guys like to see it and enjoy watching it i mean it's pretty cool seeing two impacts go head to head but people just get too serious you know about you use this battery on that one you use it who gives a shit you know what do you call them fanboys i guess uh i don't know it just gets to i mean some of the comments are hateful and like damn what have i done to y'all i don't even know yet I'm just trying to run some tools against each other and, uh, for fun. You know, I'm getting hated on already just after a couple months. But, you know, it's all in good fun. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You know, I respect that about a man or a woman, rather. Uh, that's cool with me, you know. People just get too riled up and take things way too serious. Uh, I don't know, but... Before I start getting on a rant, which I probably already have, there it is, guys. Uh, you just seen it there. I mean, the uh, results as far as amps being drawn from the batteries are pretty close. Uh, of course, the voltages are a lot different. They're different voltage tools, and it, but the uh, you know the watt output that's that's a lot different. But that's to be expected with a higher voltage tool. It's going to produce more watts. So I don't know what else to say. It's late at night, I'm tired. I thought this would be the best way to show how close you can get to fair or equal with uh, two different tools, two different batteries, two different voltages. And there you go. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate all the love and support as always. We'll catch you on the next one.